Sigle! So, let's see exactly what they have in store here. And hi, Not Sam Regal! Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's gonna be really weird playing a Mario game now without Charles Bar today. Yeah. Okay, Mario but that said, I would so love it Mario. if the new voice actor for Mario turns out to be either Sam Regal so, yeah. or Roger Craig Smith. So yeah, much like 3D World, this game takes place in a different kingdom, not the Mushroom Kingdom. Instead, it's in the Flower Kingdom, and we have to help Prince Florian. Uh, because Bowser, as you can see, basically, once again, is pulling a, a Mario Galaxy and Bowser taking over everything with this. Turning yourself into a castle, on your sheet of ever seen. Oh my god, he even learned the Polar's trick from Dr. Eggman in Sonic 4 Episode 2! Yeah. Well, that ain't good. Wow, oh, Mario, hey! Mario, a Mario game like this using an electric guitar. Uh, that's you'd that, be surprised. The They've been actually. using that Imagine. a lot since at least Galaxy. Dwebs, Dwebs, Bowser's Fury has a heavy metal boss theme in it. So, uh, at the very least, as early as uh, 3D World, Electric Guitar has been used for Bowser's motifs. Yeah, oh! We've got Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi's, uh, and yes, even Nabbit, apparently, if that last bit was anything to go by. Also Daisy. Yes. Let's jump in. Um... Yeah, the Flower Kingdom. This is the cool Flower thing. Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Six Isles. worlds, not Make seven. Oh wait, there we go, seven. Not mm -hmm. eight, though. Well. Yeah, well, that's weird that because usually, weird. usually traditional Mario games usually have eight worlds. Hmm, I wonder. I mean, this is, well, I mean, I mean, we know there's going to be at the very least a special world because that's yeah. always been the thing since May so technically it's still going to be eight worlds. Maybe they're going to so, pull a Miyamoto slash Koizumi and it turns out there's a whole nother game just waiting to be unlocked after the first round with Bowser. Isn't, isn't this done by Koizumi's team? No, it's the, the uh, Koizumi's team works on the 3D Mario games. Uh, most likely, at, as of right now, most likely the new Team Koizumi game is most likely going to be the big launch game for the new console. So, who are the guys in charge of this game? I'm guessing it's probably the same team that made the new games. I mean, uh, either that or, or a new team, who knows? Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk so those little eggplant wannabes, I guess, are the equivalent. At best case scenario, Teo Koizumi might be a producer, even though he's not working directly on it. That being said, says, like Teo uh, pointed out, Wikipedia. this does have some element. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Go on. The, the producer is a guy named Takashi Tezuka. Oh, Tezuka. Okay. Oh. There you go. The producer, for those of, for, to use a more recent thing that he's done, the producer of both Mario Maker games. Why do these things talk? Yeah, well, because, Tio, they just want to help. That said, that flower wonders what a Goomba tastes like, so maybe they're just out for blood. They're just for a Mario game to just have a flower talk randomly like you're having a normal conversation with someone. Alright, let's see the characters. Besides Mario, you can also play as... Luigi. Of course. Peach. Dandy. Dandy. The best. One of two toads. And Toadette. And Toadette has Hey! One. It's the girl for the Super Crown. We're not doing that anymore. You have no idea what you've done. No, 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 no. Now we've got. I hear we've got some better power ups than the Super also, Crown now in this game. If you if you like the Yoshi but you did not want it to play for the easy mode, I guess too bad for you. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It looks like essentially the Yoshis and Nabbit are easy modes. Which, like Nabbit, yeah. I understand it was like that also for New Super Mario Bros. And Yoshi has a habit of that. But I don't know. I think considering how deep there are different Yoshis playable, make like one or two of them. You know. Having that characteristic. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Also, yes, a lot of new enemy variety, actually. Condarts will fly at you and. I would hate to have a melon, and it turns out it's actually a piranha plant. <laughs> attack, it's not you, it's that. It's the melon that eats you. 
Mumsies can be jelly. If you Damn. Mumsies are just right. Mumsies. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to the uh, No. <laughs> yes, that thing will indeed eat you alive. This game yeah. Is these games That's teach a, all of the fetishes. Both me and Edge uh, fully agree that, yeah, like, this is exactly what 2D Mario needed. Like, an injection of creativity again. Like, because we haven't seen a 2D Mario game this creative since Super Mario Land 2. Alright, let's see those new power-ups. Yeah, so the new power-up... The power -up elephant power-up. Sorry, Chover, I thought you were gonna say that. Let's see those fetishes. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see them. We'll see them. Look, 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 look. First off, king shaming is bad. Secondly, come on. Hey, I wasn't king shaming. <laughs> Secondly, you know, maybe we only give fetishes power by constantly calling attention to them. Like, you know, normally, I remember no, the day no, that... No, we're literally were... giving them power in this game. Huh. People were not doing um... that in the 60s when Disney was doing all oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yes! A 2D, a 2D Mario game that has voice acting that's more than just whoo or yippee! Amazing, isn't when it? Comes to, when it comes to Mario's voice specifically, I feel like... Oh my god! Not, you, I feel like they could have saved Sam for uh, the new 3D game rather than... Like, for, for, a game like this, for, a game, for, for a game for a game like this, you might as well just reuse the hundreds of Charles Martinet clips you have on your arcs. You can literally turn people into coins and bubbles. Jesus. Including, including dry balls. Uh, That's kind of horrifying. Mm-hmm. Fucking like bubbles. But yes, unlike New Super Mario Brothers U, it seems Drill. like. Drill. Yes. This is actually this is actually because it's kind of a variation of uh, the drill uh, tool that we had in Galaxy 2. In fact, I can definitely tell that the people who made this game definitely are fans of Galaxy 2, as we're going to see in a moment. And move through the ground in a tough spot. Also, doesn't it work more like the Kirby's copy ability? You can uh, I'm not of. sure. It, it, it definitely has some elements of the drill power-up from Colors, though. It reminds me more of the um, drill-esque action you do in that one level in Crash Bandicoot 2, where you, have to, where you have to go underground to avoid the bees. Okay. Flower, of course. So I see the a situation of Fire Daisy before and uh... um, so. unless you count Smash, never officially. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it seems like what this game is doing is combining oh, elements. So here's the star power up of the game, the Wonder Flower. The Wonder Flower is basically what really takes this game to the next level. Kind of like the effects of a Sigma virus in Mega Man X6, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Then this is the power that Bowser is after. When you touch a Wonder Flower in a course. Shit happens. A wonder effect will trigger Basically, when you touch it, a wonder effect happens, meaning something changes. wacky and weird happens to the level. You get high. Yeah, basically. Really? In real life? Okay. This can also happen. Stampede. The stage will start to. Hey, tilting. Sonic 4. Yes. Alright, okay, to be fair. Unlike in Mega Man X6, apparently this is a you know, pick. Apparently, the whole randomizing of levels is more optional, Whoa. and it only happens if you touch the flower. And you can go to space. There, there's your Mario, Mario Galaxy. Galaxy. Three. You're happy okay. now. It's more similar to Super Mario Land. Hey, look at that! You can turn into a Goomba. Goomba or, or a Spike Ball. Spike Ball. Spike. Hey, and the P power up. Balloon, Balloon Mario from Galaxy 2 is back. We really are everything. And since yeah. every character <laughs> can use the power ups, you know what that means. Some courses right. need to be unlocked. Using Everyone is catered to. Seriously, all that's this game is truly inclusive. Honestly, all that's missing is them going, "Hey, we've also decided to make it so that the Super Crown actually does affect everyone." Actually, Shiro, I wish that the Tanga fans are still waiting for the Tanga to make his return, so not quite everybody. That's, what not, that's not who she was referring about. But yeah, from what I can also, notice, this game seems to, so. this game seems to be combining elements from not just the 2D Mario games, but also the 3D Mario games, uh, 3D World and Land. This is exactly what should have been done with the, yeah. exactly what should have been done with the 2D Mario games for a long time now. Inject the exact same creativity that defines the 3D games into the 2D ones. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kid Badge. 
You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high See, they're also implementing moves from the 3D games into it as well. To walls with mm -hmm. a grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops. So basically the idea of these badges is badge. that uh, if you need help with Recent something, uh, items, get a badge, like a badge that first badge. allows you to do an extra wall jump, or maybe there's that thing with the lava that you saw earlier. So basically if you have a difficulty in the level, consider getting a badge badge. that might help you. But they're not just given free enemies, to your parkour correctly, you can only no. one at a time. You have to either you win them in badge, badge challenges, or you have to buy them in a shop. And you can run in the air for a bit. Also, I love the art style of this game. With different mm -hmm. from the I still would have preferred to HD to these sprites, but this is a. Uh, but this on is appearance, it's similar to the new Super Mario series. But a lot more interesting looking. Yeah, of course, it's a bit. It's slightly pastel. How can I describe it? It's similar to some of the Kirby games where it looks like it, it's actually, you know, drawn with an actual colored pencil. Yeah, I think. Did they just deliberately jump into the lava back then, or what? Yeah, I think Probably. I think what it reminds sure me of definitely Klaus is like the movie Klaus from the Netflix, where it uses a pastel painted look to simulate 2D animation, but if you look closely, you can tell oh it's technically 3D. Oh, yeah. Player where you fuck over your friends, uh, like in Alfred videos, uh, there you go. Heck yeah. Cool. I can so look forward to squirm play sessions of this. Their character will float around the course as a good well, actually, when it comes to the online, mo well, actually, when it comes to the online multiplayer, there's no online co-op. However, what there is, is you can see other people playing so you uh, think gonna mention you know, you're gonna mention you. Yoshi, yeah. you can jump on their back. And ride them so you can ride Yoshi's. Even and yes, even Yoshi, Yoshi can ride Roshi. There's something very wrong oh with this. Oh god! You I can even like... do it Yoshi, as an elephant! No. You gotta break poor Yoshi's back also. Firstly, pull him off a cliff and then he jumped me and he to ride it from jump on him. Also, um, also earlier on, it's like that big, it's like the one Yoshi riding the other. So, you know what? I'm too easy to win two runs, so you run for me! Just like there you go. If you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player. Oh, how nice. You defeated, so you defeated you, yourself. Your learning your functionality is actually very present, uh, you know, items. but uh, Even you won't I think what it is. If you want. You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy the So it seems like they're together. doing kind of what All 3D right World right Switch version did, minus course. some of the uh, oh, definite downsides of it. You can also put in standees to help uh, uh, players in difficult sections, kind of like what Death Stranding signs do. Yeah, you know, honestly, this seems like it could very much work for online co-op. Like, it's a way so that you can do it without having the lag that uh, 3D World had on the Switch with its uh, online co-op. That's cute. Gifting items. Now you can do teamwork without constantly Reaches screwing people over. Isn't that we'll nice? You hard points. Yay! While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing. Um, do all of us have switches? No, I have a switch. I do. Race by I already have this game pre-ordered, in fact. Shirai, you have a switch too, right? Then, yes. Sue, <laughs> maybe. No, 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 guys. Sue was actually playing Splatoon on her. Um... On my refrigerator. Yes. Yeah. Of course. What happened to Bowser Jr.? He looks like he got powered uh, up. Maybe, maybe, he took a cue, maybe he took a cue from his father and decided to consume some kind of fury shit. Man, Bowser really just, is a you would think he'd Bowser realize that's a bad thing really? given what happened. <laughs> We've been over this, it's furry shit. Bowser's, uh, Bowser somehow, to Bowser being a bad father does not surprise me. That's not what this no, 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 no. educational video told me, Pedro. But that's the thing, though. In spite of his issues, <laughs> Bowser's actually a pretty great dad. And to be fair, he only became Fury because his son painted on his face. If, um, you know, if the TV shows are anything to go by, um, his daughter's his favorite. 
Mm-hmm. So Bowser plays favorites, which is yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although it, I'd say going by the games, Junior's probably his favorite in the best and color. The way, also a red Mario theme switch. Uh, yeah. So if, if you want that, go get it. The Nintendo Switch. Surprising enough, the Mario surprising enough, no amiibo. So for all you enthusiasts who wanted your personal Mario Elephant amiibo, tough luck. Tough luck, dipshits. All right. Mm. It'll happen eventually. I'm pretty sure they. I'm pretty sure that the size won't be heard over the mass applause of people now happy that their fan art is canon. But yeah, no, right, this seven. looks like a pretty good new entry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. It looks, it looks, um, it looks fun enough. Um, I don't know whether I'll get this at um, day one exactly because you know, get me into. Okay, is this more a two point five D game? Two point five D. Um... Yeah, I, I tend to do. I tend to do better on those than. Um, Street yeah, 2D. it even does that whole thing where you can alternate between the foreground and the background, like Wireland Virtual Boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not sure I'll pick this up day one. I'll just, I'll just have to see how it goes. But um, it still at least looks um, looks really fun. And um, and and hey, after um, some of the more um, lesser received uh, 2D games over the past decade or so, I reckon. 2D Mario fans could do with a um, could do with a solid like this for the looks of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, overall looks on. Uh yeah, I feel like this is a good new entry. I will say this. Man, how it feels to once again be in an era where Sonic and Mario are some of the leading 2D platformers in the game. <laughs> It's like the 90s all over again. In a good way, mind you. In a good way. Uh, I like the mass amount of characters we're getting. It is a shame, though, that the Yoshis and Nabbit seem to be reserved to essentially easy mode. Um, but that aside, I love the art style. The music sounds good. The premise sounds interesting. And hey, we finally brought Daisy back as a main playable character. Well, actually brought her finally on. Like, jeez. She was overdue. Like, she's only Luigi's flipping girlfriend at that. And, uh, and, but, and where's the, t- the, the Tenga now? Come on, Nintendo. We're waiting. You yes, know, Tenga. you know. I've always had canon that that pr- that Daisy has just been more proactive in preventing herself from getting kidnapped again. Although, when you think about it, despite her going by the title princess, she's technically an empress since Sarasland is made of four different kingdoms, which would make it an empire instead of just a kingdom. In fact, her kingdoms even have their own specific rulers that were brainwashed by Tatanga during the events of Super Mario Land, so... Yeah, maybe that's why we haven't heard from Tatanga again. Um, but yeah, no, this looks like it'll be awesome. They even found a nice, new, unique way for, uh, online multiplayer to occur without it being chaotic or lagging up a storm. Kudos. Uh, what did you think, Shiroi? Yeah, it looks really good. I don't know if it's a day one thing for me either, though I do want to play this eventually. It does look a lot like the new Super Mario Bros. stuff, but a lot more interesting and a lot more pretty, which, you know, has been long overdue for that particular series for a while, even though this doesn't really fall under that. Um... Yeah, I, I just like the variety, and it looks pretty. That's all I've got for now, so... So who do you plan to main? Ah. Uh... I recommend, since you're not particularly experienced in 2D Mario, I recommend Peach. She's usually the character newbies use, because she has the gliding ability. Did they I confirm played she's all the new Super Mario Bros. games, thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> in that case, then you should know what to do by this point, then. Yes. <laughs> No, um, because I was never into Mario as much, uh, those games were kind of just easy to pick up and play whenever, so those were the ones I generally had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, 
basically it'll depend on how I feel like when I actually pick up the game. So yeah. Uh what? that's it, I think. Yeah, it looks fun. Pedro. Oh, this looks awesome. Like uh uh I'm really super excited to play this because it looks a ton of fun. Um, you, you, like, uh, you, like, like uh, the, we have yet to have a, a tr aside from Lost, aside from Lost Levels is still the only bad, genuinely bad Mario platformer in my eyes. Um, so, uh, I'm, and this one looks like the best 2D Mario game since World, which again, finally, we're, again, they're doing exactly what I've always wanted. You know that awesome explosion of creativity that is the 3D Mario series? How about you bring that over to the 2D series while you're at it? And that's basically what this game is doing, specifically with the Wonder Flower. So, kudos. All right, that's it. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, again, I'm actually genuinely impressed. From the first trailer, I thought that despite having, you know, some of these new things, uh, like the Wonder Flower, I thought the video was going to play safe. Uh, and I'm someone who doesn't really particularly, you know, dislike uh, the new Super Mario Bros. series. Uh, um, but uh, again, they seem to be going above and beyond into trying to make this you know, unique uh, in its own right, you know, with new, a lot of new enemy types, despite maintaining the old, the weird stuff that can happen, you know. Um, again, it shows a bit of commitment. Also, I have no idea, considering all circumstances, like uh, how the Wonder Flower technically works and, you know, this new gimmick with the platforms how the final boss against Valor is gonna be, considering he's the entire castle this time around. Because a question that I was having before uh, this direct drop dropped was, uh, you know, since ever since uh, 3D Land, uh, Bowser has a tendency of incorporating the, pow the themed power-up for the final boss. What was gonna happen for this one? Well, I guess I got my answer early on. <laughs> Again, I just don't know how it's gonna be handled, but uh, we'll have to see, actually. But otherwise, uh, no, it's pretty solid. Sure, again, the only complaint that I can have is the fact that, you know, Yoshis are relegated only exclusively to, you know, to an easier difficulty rather than, you know, separating them up to if you actually like the character. We still don't know also who the new voice actors are as a whole, because I heard a couple of it's not just Mario. I heard also, you know, Bo Yoshi during these, um, during these direct, uh, and some of his voice clips uh, do sound different from the ones that Totaka recorded. I don't know if it's still him or someone else entirely at this point. Uh, we'll have to see. I did um, some digging, by the way. I found out directly. Okay, so we already know that the producer is Takashi Tezuka, you know, designer of the original Super Mario Brothers in 1985. But the actual director is a man by the name of Shiro Mori. I don't know mm -hmm. who that is. He has been one of the main programmers of the 2D Zelda series since Four Swords Adventure. And uh, was okay. also a developer on New Super Mario Brothers U, as well as U Deluxe. He also did FX oh, Zero. Go, he he did F Zero X, the Pokemon Stadium games, Pokemon Box oh. Ruby and Sapphire. He worked on the camera and NPC programming of Super Mario Sunshine. And, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, he's pretty much been doing 2D Zelda games. He also did Triforce Heroes, as well as working on Super Mario Maker 2 before, yeah, finally becoming the full-fledged director of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So he's got a few feathers in his caps. Just a bit. Uh, no, still, again, I'm definitely impressed, and I want to see what the, the end result uh, will be, actually, when it comes out. So that's it. Uh, so... We know that uh, Nintendo has a tendency of giving, you know, in September a more generic director, so if it happens, we'll actually see you for that. Yeah. See ya. See you then.